Hi everyone, it's Susan here with Diversions.com here for part two of our videos for release of June, June 2013, which is the theme called Life's a Beach. I already recorded in the first part of the video the seven new word dies that we have coming out, and right now in video two I'm going to go over the five sweet petites. You're going to love them and the seven amazing whispers. All right, we've got five sweet petites. I'll put them down here on my cutting mat. And we'll get some of them cut out. There's the first three. Let's go ahead and cut them out in lime green because I think they'll fit on this 4x4 four four square of cardstock. These sweet petites, I'm continuously amazed at the things the design team does with just a simple shape that is basically replica of a punch. The price point is obviously less than a punch. Great price points for these little sweet petite outlines. But the design team has, has continuously showed me that you can do as little or as much as you want with these dies. You can use them as solid, solid dark colored shapes to be an outline, or you can just go hog wild embellishing and layering and snipping apart. We call that fussy cutting. Um, and you'll see some amazing examples. We were just starting to get some examples in for the release from the design team, and the projects are just beautiful. All right, here is the sand castle. This is the sea turtle. This guy is going to be amazingly popular, I know. And the little tiny palm tree. All right, so that gives you a size reference of the three of them. Could totally be used together. Let's cut out the last two here. Two of my favorites. I think it's because I'm a big fan of Nemo. Let's cut this in brown. And um, but it, but these shapes can just be used so many ways. This is the crab, and this is the fish. We have some awesome projects using this little fish. It's amazing how just one simple little fish could be used in so many different ways. But I love this crab. Isn't he so cute? Nice clean cuts great edges ready to do whatever you want with them. Layer them, emboss them, stamp them, um, pressure emboss them like an embossing fold. There's some great examples of that which you'll see on the blog on release night which is Sunday June 2nd at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So those are the five sweet petites. All right, a palm tree, a turtle, a sandcastle, a crab, and a fish. Five new sweet petites. Cute little designs that's going to work with all kinds of things. And remember, we have uh, dies that were released. We had a sailboat last month for the um, planes, trains, and automobiles release. And then last year, th about this time, we had the beach bag, the flip-flops, the Hawaiian shirt, um, those dies also. Um, now let's go through the whispers. The whispers are almost always some of our favorites. This is called, let's start here. I'll, I'll go in my alphabetical order here. This one, fabulous. Oh my gosh. We have so many examples with this this one. All right, this is the Adirondack chair. Look at this. When you see the sample, let's see, it was a page by Pam, I believe. What she's done with this, layering and colors, so stinking cute. All right, that's the Adirondack chair. First one. Next is, we always, I'll always try and work in a scene. And this is the beach scene. And what is so amazing with this one is the ne again the negative shapes. When, remember when we had the um, I think it was called the farm the farm scene, the farm scene, and um, the there was a miniature horse and a miniature pig, and the negative shapes become as important as the positive shapes. Let me get my hole here. I always try and outline the hole. Okay, here is the negative, oops, here's the positive, the negative stayed in the die. So this is the beach scene. All right, we have a crab, a shovel, a little sun, part of an umbrella, and two itty bitty clouds, and a little tiny um, sand bucket. What I want to show you here is, see how the middle of the handle is missing? You need to remember, and I'm going to put a special... I need to put a special dot along that circle so I remember that this is the piece that you need to save that will lay right down in there. Okay? But what you end up with, you've got this cute little scene that's going to be so adorable for behind a title, you know, a title coming off of one edge about the beach, but you've got these awesome little bitty negative shapes. I really should. That's a great idea is to color code the dots back here so I know what I'm going to poke out for. There's my bucket. Here's my shovel. 
Look at this little tiny shovel. It's so cute. Little tiny shovel. But this is the one that, oh my gosh, the girls were going crazy over. This itty bitty crab. Now, how that compares to the big crab, I will show you. All right. That is the size difference. Let's see. That does not look very good there. Okay. Itty bitty crab and then the sweet petite crab. So this itty bitty guy is from the um, beach scene die. Next we have the master sandcastle, which is what we're calling the big sandcastle. We had the little sweet petite little, little sandcastle. This one is the master sandcastle because this is what a master builder would build in the sand. Holes here on the edge so I can grab love this it's this could totally and we've got some samples as a as a sand castle and we've got some samples um, from the design team as kind of a princess castle very cute the stars itty bitty star that you'll have, you'll have as a negative shape little waves sandy waves needs needs a little water moat around there and you'll have a perfect sand castle all right sand castle you're gonna get tired of hearing me say how popular these are but the design team was just going crazy with these and um, I think everybody's decided this is going to be a great summertime release. It's going to be very popular. There's just not a dud in the bunch. This one is called Sweet Seahorse. He is very delicate, very detailed. You can have a little poking to do to get these itty bitty shapes out. But look at how delicate he is. There he is on brown so you can see him. All right, a beautiful cut. Lay him down flat there so cute sweet seahorse now we have two shells in the line these are much requested oh my goodness last year when we had the beach bag and the hawaiian shoes or, i'm sorry hawaiian shirt and the flip-flops everybody wanted to know where were the seashells so here we have i think we need some lime green seashells we have a scallop and a conch shell this through these are great sizes they're going to be perfect on as page accents they're not too small they're going to show up great on a scrapbook page. There's my little ejection hole. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. There is the conch, and here is the scallop. Got some beautiful projects with these. All right, the conch and the scallop. Now, the last one we have here is called Made in the Shade, because if you're going to have an Adirondack chair, you have to have a beach umbrella, right? SPF 100. So let's run this guy through. And here is the beach umbrella. Beautiful cut. Nice detail. You can see the underside, so you could put the chair by it. Let me see if I can grab my chair. Okay, the sizes work nicely together. As you can see. All right, so those are the seven whispers in the release for uh, Life's a Beach. Five sweet petites and seven whispers along with the seven words that I showed in video one. And then there are six Spanish express edges. Um, if you have any questions about sizes, about machines, about how to use these, about how they're made, about, I don't know, about a good sugar cookie recipe, just send me an email at susan at die-versions.com. Don't forget the hyphen. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you join our Facebook page and make sure you check out our blog, die-versionsblog.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful June.